Happy Wisdom Wednesday Coastal Crew, and today we're talking about shoes. Now, what shoe you train in has a huge impact on your training. If you don't have the proper shoe, then your whole training is just kind of going to not be bad, but it's going to get thrown off a little bit because how many times have you worn a shoe with a really clunky sole and your like balance is all over the place? So training in shoes matter. My personal prefer preference is the Nike Metcon. So that's this shoe right here. This is the five. And I prefer this shoe because it has a flat bottom. So there's no um, big heel or anything like that. And there's a very wide toe box. So it does come narrower at the top, but it's very wide in here. So it doesn't cramp my feet. The insole has a little bit of an arch, but it's nothing too crazy. I can comfortably train in this shoe. I can comfortably run in my workouts, but I would not use this shoe to go for a run. So this is the Metcon. Um, other shoes like this are the Nobles. Those also have flat bottoms and they're best for weightlifting. So squatting, deadlifting, all the stuff that we do in the weight room, even like our power portion. Now. Another shoe that is also good for weightlifting is Converse or Chuck Taylors. So same as the Metcon, very flat bottom. Um, there is like no arch in a shoe like this. So if you kind of require a little bit more arch support, I don't recommend the Chucks. Also, if you look at the toe box, it's very, very narrow. So if we were to compare the Converse to the Metcon, you can kind of see this one comes, comes in a lot sharper. And if we kind of compare it this way, you can see that it comes out on the other side. Great for squats, deadlifts, bench, not so foot friendly because it cramps your toes. Another shoe that usually people come in to the gym with because they don't give it much thought is just your classic running shoe. So this is a Brooks. I don't mind working out in running shoes. It gets a little tricky when I'm doing single leg work because of the balance. So there's a lot more cushion here and also my toes, like the way this um, shoe is shaped, it brings your toes off the ground. So you don't get as much connection to the ground as I would with a Metcon or even the Chucks. Um, this particular sho shoe also has a really wide toe box, so my toes can spread out. And I keep referring to that because being able to feel your foot throughout the shoe and throughout the movement that you're doing is super important, one, for balance, but also it, your foot has so many um, sensors and receptors on the bottom of it. it takes input in like it's nothing. So being able to feel what's underneath you is super important. Not a terrible shoe, not the end all be all, but again, if it feels good on your foot, go for it. And the last shoe that I have with me today is just your classic um, sportswear shoe. Uh, this one's also a Nike. You can tell that it has a huge cushion. Um, this particular shoe has a big arch on the inside, so it actually hurts my foot if I'm wearing it too long, like if I wear it all day to coach. But um, the toe box isn't so bad. It's pretty, it's okay. But I do not recommend this because it's much worse on the balance um, and it's much worse on your foot being able to feel into the ground than any of the other shoes. Another thing to stay clear of is sportswear shoes that are just kind of for looks and for hanging out in. They're on this trend to be big and clunky, but we don't want big and clunky in the weight room. We kind of want a minimalist shoe. So the Metcons, the Nobles, New Balance also has um, shoes that work well for the um, weight room. And we don't want that big cushion because it's putting your foot into positions that aren't natural. So it's giving you a really big arch, your toes are kind of curling up and your heels up and it's just, it's not the best for your foot. And if I say, if there's two things to invest in, it's your sleep and your feet. So pick out your shoes carefully and remember, what works for me doesn't necessarily work for you, but it's something to think about and something to try out. I like the Metcons, I'm a huge fan and I will always recommend them. 
but those are just four shoe options and some of the most common shoes that we see in the gym. I hope this helps. Happy Wisdom Wednesday, Coaster Crew. Take care of your feet.